Hey everyone, welcome to Java Revisited. My name is Nadesh and you guys are watching the another video of this channel. And for today's video, we'll have a look at the program for reverse an array, okay? So what you might ask me like, what do you mean by reverse an array and different questions like that. All right, everything will be discussed in this video with detail and I bet you once you watch this video, there will be no problem in solving the equation like reverse an array once again, all right? So before starting this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel also. And if you have not watched the previous videos, I would definitely recommend you to watch that as well. All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first of all, now you might ask me like, what do I mean by reverse an array, right? I'm programming in Java, correct? So program, uh, basically reverse an array basically means like uh, reversing the elements of an array. What do I mean? Like say it like, uh, I have this, um, say like, I have this array, which is called as one, which is two, and then which is three. I'm elements, suppose we have this elements, all right? This is my array, suppose. I'm giving a rough estimate. Then reverse in array basically means that my output array, my output array should be like this just to reverse the elements. Like it's from one, two, three, four. So my result should be four, three, two, and one, correct? This should be my result. Now, this should be my output and this should be my input. Now, how can I, I once again, yeah. Huh. Now, how can I reverse this array? Like suppose if, if I tell you like, uh, suppose my reverse an array basically means that you have to reverse the elements present in an array. So suppose this is my array, correct? Now you tell me what should be my output. If I reverse this array, my output should be five. My output should be five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. My output should be this. Now, one thing you have seen in this output is that Okay, tell me uh, if I ask like, hmm, this is my zeroth index, this is my first index, this is my second index, this is my third index, and this is my fourth index, correct? Now you might have seen one thing, is that in my output, if you notice one thing, basically the zeroth index and the last index has been swapped. So what do you mean by swap? Swap basically means that it is, a, it is reversed, all right. It is basically, it is re replaced by this. So, so look at here, just like zeroth index, it contains one. And fourth index has this element, which is called as five. Correct. In my output, you have seen that in my zeroth index, it is five. And my fourth index is one, basically. So you see, Basically, I have what I have done is that I have reversed or sorry, I have swapped the values, right? I have uh, this value is swapped with this. Similarly, this value has been swapped with this and this three remains at the same place. See, three, three remains at the same place. One is replaced by five and five is replaced by one. That is what a swap means. So one is uh, replaced by five. Here comes the five. Similarly, five has been replaced by one. So here comes the one. Two has been replaced by four. So here comes a four and here comes a two. Correct. And three, which was not replaced with anyone because uh, it does not find any, any element which from which it can be replaced. Correct. So you see, for reversing an array, we basically needs to swap these elements. We need to swap these elements. And once we have swapped the elements, starting from this index, starting from this zeroth index, starting from the zeroth index, and going till last index, if anyhow, we swap these elements from zeroth index to the first uh, to the last index, we can get this output array, which is called as reverse array. But how can we do that? Let's do this. All right. So like, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to create an array. Let's call this in ARR equal to, suppose my array is one, two, three, four, and five. Correct. Now what I'm going to do, I basically, wait. <laughs> now basically what I need is that I need a swap function as well. Correct. As, uh, as I mentioned here, if you look at here, I basically need a swap function to swap this value from zero, to, which uh, basically 
my zeroth index should be swapped with the last index my first index should be swapped with the last second index correct so i need a swap function first of all for that and what swap function will do swap function will basically swap the indices once we have swapped the indexes we can get our output array correct so let's look at how we can do this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a function called as swap and uh, which input i'm going to take i'm going to take an array input int arr then i'm going to take an index input index one index one is basically what i'm telling you wait see this is my input in this array oh sorry in this function int arr arr is basically an array int index one index one is an is the first index it's you can say like index one is the index you want to be swapped with another index so here int index one basically means my first index will be swapped with another index which is called as index two correct this is what index one is doing now for swapping an array i i want to tell you something like let's erase this correct so if you if you have known about how swapping works so swapping basically works like suppose i my value of a is a is 10 my value of b is 10 i'm not giving an example of array here i will tell you like how this works in array but let's look at how this works in number system i mean not an array because you might get confused if you don't know how this works correct so my writing is a bit i'll say a little bit yeah hmm. suppose my value of a is 10 my value of b is 20 now i want to replace this value i want to replace this value i want to swap this value i want that my value of a should be 20 and my value of b should be 10 correct this is what i want how can i do this this is very simple you need to i i will definitely recommend you you can learn this as well if you want what i'm going to do is i will create an another integer which is called as temp or any any variable name i'm calling it as temp which will store the value of a okay which will store the value of a first of all then i am saying a equal to b so what a equal to b will do here if i if i write here a equal to b a equal to b basically means that a will have now the value of b a will have now the value of b and then i am saying b equal to temp what do i mean by b equal to temp b equal to temp basically means that now i will have the value of temp in b so okay tell me like we have this input correct analyze this code analyze this code how this works int temp equal to a temp will have the value of a what is the value of a a is 10 correct now a is equal to b it means a will have the value of b what is the value of b the value of a is the value of b is 20 so a will have the value of 20 now correct now the value of b is temp the value of b is temp now what is the value of temp temp is 10 so this is my output this is c a 10 a 20 b 10 this is what i wanted to print correct now you might ask me like why i need this if if you ignore this line suppose if i ignore if i ignore this line what will happen a is equal to b and b is equal to what will you say me this this line is suppose it's not so we can write as a equal to b b equal to a why this won't work i'll tell you what like a is equal to b suppose so a will have the value of b a will have the value of b what is the value of b the v value of b here is 20 so a will have the value of 20 correct but now you have said the value of b is equal to a the value of b is going to be a what is the value of a the value of a is now 20 so the value of b is 20 but my output should be a 20 and b 10 correct so that's why we have to store the value of a initially in another variable which i call it here temp okay it is it's basically for the number system let's see how this works in array it's very simple i'll tell you what see you have understood up to here int ar and int index one int index two what i'm going to do here similarly i'm going to create a temp variable which will store the value present in the array at index one correct then i am saying arr of index one equal to arr of index two arr of index one and then i'm okay here mistake i guess yeah then i'm saying then i'm saying arr of index one equal to arr of index two then i'm saying arr of index two equal to 
temp correct this is what you have done there it's very simple i have done nothing if, if you look at here what i'm trying to say here like like just see see this okay just see this what i have done here isn't like is it not like this int temp equal to a a equal to b b equal to a oh sorry b equal to temp this is not this is b equal to temp okay basically this is the code so and this is not now commented so int temp equal to a a equal to b b equal to temp correct similarly that is the thing i have done here int temp equal to arr int index one correct wait <laughs> So this is exactly the thing I have done here basically that int temp equal to ARR at index 1 and ARR at index 1 is equal to ARR at index 2 and ARR at index 2 equal to temp. What I have done is it's nothing confusing I'll tell you again. See, like suppose this is my array, correct? This is my array. What I have done here is that the temp will store the value. This is my ARR index, correct? The temp will store the value ERR at index one. Index one, basically, if, if you if you have wait here, listen. Int index one and in index two. Okay. Int index one and in index two. I have told you index one and index two basically represent those uh, those indices whose value you want to be swapped. Correct. Suppose I want to swap the value of this. I want to swap. I want to swap this value of at present at zeroth index and second index. I want that my output should be like this 3, 2, 1 and 4. Swapping the value. So my temp will first of all contain the so see, see, figure it like this. This is my first, this is my second index. Basically, for that function, it basically representing my first index and now this is my second index. Or you can say like it's my value of my A. And it's the value of my b because this is what I want to be swapped. This is the indices I want to be swapped. Similarly, in that code, I have written temp equal to a. So here, what is the value of a? A here the value of a is in index form. Sorry, in in, in array's form, the value of here temp will contain the value of arr present at index number zero. Present at index number zero. And correct. And then arr at index zero will contain the value present at index number which i want to be replaced here index number two correct what is the value at the index number two three and then lastly arr at index two will contain the value same at arr uh, same as temp correct this is what my code now tell me what is the value of index one here what is the value of index one here? The value of index one be here basically is a zero and the value of index two whom I want to be replaced with or swapped with index two here basically is two. And that is what I have written temp is equal to ARR. See temp is equal to ARR at 10 and 10 is my index one. That is what I have written temp equal to ARR at index one. Then I have written ARR at index one equal to ARR at index two. ARR at index one. 0 is index 1, error index 1 equal to error of index 2 and error of index 2 is it basically temp. Correct. This is my code for the swap and array. So if, if you want to swap this function, like let's suppose I want to swap this array, which error comma now, which index I want to be swapped with. Suppose I want, I want, I want 1 to be swapped with 4. I want 1 to be swapped with 4. So one is basically at which index? Zeroth index. Okay. And fourth is at which index? Zero, one, two, three, and four. Zero, one, two, three, sorry. Zero, one, two, three. So four is at my third index. So I want to swap this zeroth index with the third index. And at the last, I'll print my arrays dot two string and ARR. Correct. Now let's try to run this. This is basically for the swap. I hope you will understand what I mean. Now see zeroth index and first, second, third. This index will be replaced. So in my see four two three one five one two three four five, I have swapped this zeroth index, zeroth index here, and index number two, which was index number two here, three. So zero one two three. This element will be swapped with element present at the zeroth index. So four 
टू थ्री वन फाइव शुड बी माई आउटपुट फोर टू थ्री वन फाइव इज माई आउटपुट दिस इज बेसिकली दाप फंक्शन नाउ विद दिस नाउ आई हैव गिवन यू द basic understanding of swap as well so if anyone uh, wanted like how swap function work this is exactly how swap function work now how will we use this swap function in an in reversing an array it's very simple i'll tell you what so first of all for that i need to first of all create an an uh, reverse function i let's call this as reverse and this function is basically will uh, carry carry an array one thing or one thing more and that is see this arr this arr is used here and this arr is used here it's not the same arrs okay i have like suppose i i can i can okay i can i can call it as arrays okay i can call it as arrays okay so in case you guys might get confused like this is the arr i have used here no it's not that here the name of this array is different here the name of array is different simple thing so i have used int arr this arr this arr in this function reverse function is not the same as this arr okay i can call this arr as say like a this is an array okay that is what i wanted to tell you so now this reverse function first of all will contain my what it will contain my array because i want to reverse an array now tell me <coughs> what i can do you <coughs> sorry you have understood this swap function correct you have understood that how the values are swapped now let's look at here <coughs> basically hmm <coughs> yeah cool suppose this is my array now i want reverse now I want my array to be reversed so what do you mean by reversing an array reversing an array basically means swap the all the values present in that array am i correct reverse an array basically means swap all the values present in that array so basically my output should be like 5 4 3 2 1 so my this array should be replaced with this this should be swapped with this and this will be remain at where it is correct <coughs> so how how can i do this what i am going to do <coughs> is I'm um, first of all mm, see one thing to notice. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> cool. One thing to notice here is that I'm taking the index number one and index number two in the swap function, and I have told you that for reversing an array, we need this help of swap. Correct, as you know now. So index one is basically my index which I want to be replaced with index two. index 1 is my index which i want to be swapped with index 2 okay wait tell me tell me one thing and that is and that is this please see this and this i want to swap first of all zero to index with my last index so what i'm going to do i'm going to create an variable which is called as start Int start. I'm going to create a variable start whose value is at first of all zeroth index. Whose value is going at first of all at zeroth index, and my another variable which is called as int end, whose value is basically at the last index present in that array. Here, what is that index? Here, what is that index? You will say zero, one, two, three, four. So four is that index. Then similarly, then basically what I'm going to do is. i'm going to swap this array i'm going to recall call that function swap in that function i'll call this arr i'm going to call this zero i'm going to call this four or basically not zero i'm going to call this start and i'm going to call this end cool i have once i have called this function then what i'm going to do once these values have been swapped i want that now these two values should be swapped once Zeroth and last index has been swapped. Now you want that first index and the last second index should be swapped. Similarly, the longer the array, I want that uh, sim it should the uh, the loop should go like this. Zeroth index first should be swapped, then first index should be swapped, then second index should be swapped. Similarly, with these last indexes, correct? What I will do here, I'll just say here start plus plus. 
and end minus minus so what it, it what it do once you have swapped once you have swapped the zeroth index is swapped with the last index it will increase the value of zeroth index by one so what is the value of zeroth index now it's one and what is the value of end now end index which is which was initially four now the value of end index will basically have the value as this third index okay so what is the value present in the third index it's basically four I'll, I'll do this like this all this I'll do this in a loop okay I'll do everything in loop which is called as while loop and in this while loop I'll put put the condition that int start is less than int while my start is less than end see while my start is less than basically zero index is always see zero is always less than four then one is less than three then 2 is less than 2? No, it's not. So it will stop here. It won't replace this. That's why I've used this condition. Start is less than it. Now let's try to code this. So static what it was in ARR, correct? Now what I'm going to do is <coughs> mm. I can basically wait. Now I have hoped you you might have got a fair idea. Let me just close it. <clears throat> yeah, so you have got this idea now. What I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm going to create a variable which is called as int start equal to zero starting from the zero index and int end equal to what is my end? You might say here, this is the end is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. My last index is 4. But see, I want to work this for any index. I want to work this for any index. So basically here, tell me what is the, if I ask you what is the size of the ARR, you will call, you will say that size of ARR is equal to 5, correct? And what is the index number? How many index are there? Like if I go, how many index are there? With how many index are there? You will say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 index. So I can call it as it. I can say it like this that my total indices are size of ARR minus 1. Am I right? Yes, I can say. So now how size of ARR is, is represented? The size of ARR is basically represented at ARR dot length. ARR dot length. It's how it's represented. So in end equal to, I will write in end equal to ARR dot length minus one cool this is what i have done how many indexes are there there are four indexes but instead of writing four i have written that starting from the zeros index and going till ar dot length minus one so in this case if i i do it like this i can change the value of i can increase the value of the indexes but if i write here four then i can't change the value i can't change the like i can't increase the values of array because then this function will basically run for the four indices so what I have done here, I have written that ARR dot length minus one, correct? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm as I mentioned, I will start a while loop. Reason, you know, while start is less than end, I'll call this swap function, which will contain the value of ARR. What is my index one? Index one is basically my start. What is my index two? Whom with, I, with which index I want to be replaced with? I want to be replaced with my last index, which is which I have given the name end cool and then once it's swapped i want that my start should be increased and my end should be decremented or it should be decreased by one now this is my exactly the whole function of reverse array let's first of all remove this and now i'll call this reverse function and i'll pass this array after passing this array i'll just print this so ar strings dot to string arr now let's try to run this so one two three four five is my input and i have called this function reverse arr and let's now see what is my output see the idea has been reversed five four three two one similarly if i want to increase the value like select six seven eight nine then i want to sorry i want now see my array is will be reversed One, two, three, four, five, six. See, 
the array has been reversed now what if i recall no, listen to me very carefully what if i first of all recall this um, okay now what if i recall this function first of all swap i'm passing arr i am and want that my zeroth index should be swapped with third index okay so here you will see that zeroth index the element at zeroth index is one it should be swapped with third index zero one two three basically my four should come first and one should be replaced should be placed at four correct so i'm, I'm uh, replacing this i'm sorry i'm printing this here it is dot to string and i'm passing this error and then i i call this function and then i call this function now let's see what happens this was my output notice it now let's see what is what happens see this is my output what happens is that first of all this function has been called what happens is the zeroth index has been replaced with the third index what is the value of zeroth index one and what is the value of third index zero one two three so four so now four will come first and one will come here so four has come here one has come here rest everything is same now the value of arr is what the value of arr is this now the value of arr is this now because we have swapped the value of two indexes now I have said that swap this error, but what was the value of error now? The value of error was this now, because initially we have swapped it. So now this value will be swapped and this is my output. Now, 9876511324. This is exactly whole about the program for reverse an array. All right. So this was all about the video and I hope you guys have uh, got the fair idea like how reverse and array basically works, how uh, say like swapping works, correct? And I don't think so like there is any need now to repeat the same stuff. But in case you guys have not understood, you can repeat the portion at which you have not understood the part. All right. And you can drop your doubts in the comment section. I'll definitely uh, check that out. So. This is exactly all about the video and I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to Java Wasted channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.